Lucas Media, shout out to 78 Sports TV. I was watching this video on Undisputed may be over for Skip Bayless. Now, he was talking about his video, how they may not end up renewing his contract and that Undisputed fell down. I just want to add my two cents on it as well. This hasn't been a secret. Honestly, Undisputed has been going out of drain ever since Shannon Sharp left. Um, one of the things that 78 said that I agree with is that he that Skip Bayless is an old school guy. He has an old way of thinking. And I even said also in a in a previous video, he never came out and apologized when he tried to insult Shannon. And he did it on more than one occasion. The last time he did it, go back and watch his um his podcast. He didn't apologize to Shannon. He said that Shannon is his is his best competitor or his greatest competitor. That's not a way of apologizing that you just try to insult that man and told him to take his glasses off. And then also, I believe Skip had full control. They didn't really talk about a lot of things. Most of it was really LeBron. Oh, LeBron ate breakfast. Oh, we seen LeBron at Chick-fil-A. Oh, LeBron, LeBron, LeBron. And that's how Skip really built his career. And he he Skip hasn't adopted to the times. People are starting to move past debate shows because they don't really give a lot of information. When I was growing up, you had the sports reporters and other shows like that where people would sit down and give great interviews or break down things, give great takes. Now all you hear, well, at least for the last, I would say, what, 10 years, a lot of it's mumbo jumbo cookie cutter stuff. You're not even going there anymore to get information. It's all about entertainment. So people are starting to move past that. And then now you don't need a Skip Bayless no more. Shannon is hot as fish grease right now. And he went, he blew up, up after Skip Bayless. See, he broke the internet, got one of the most watched interviews of all time. So you don't need that. And while the corporate media was making fun of, you know, us smaller channels. You see now all of them are jumping on the wave and trying to come to YouTube and other platforms to get their stories out. Now you got NBA players and NFL players got their own podcast telling their own version. So you don't have to go to him and then skip be hating a lot. You know, if it's a player that he don't like and a player wins, he always makes an excuse. And it's just so many different things. Yes, they had, they brought on Paul Pierce Yes, they brought on Michael Irving. But those two brothers will be fine without Skip. They don't need Skip needs them. They don't need him. You know, don't Paul Pierce and Kevin Garnett got their own podcast. They don't have to they don't have to go on undisputed like it used to be back in the day. So you see all of that going on. And uh, you got a guy who's in his 70s that don't want to adjust to the times. It's gonna probably end up being over. Remember before Skip and Shannon broke up you know you you knew they was breaking up but they didn't make it official skip was saying that he don't know if he'll end up staying in la and shannon's like oh you really think that and skip's like oh you never know because he know that he needed shannon but he had too much pride and ego to be like shannon i was wrong you know what i'm saying you are you are a key piece to this what can we do to make you happy and fs1 they crazy for letting shannon sharp go i don't know what they was thinking it always reminded me of like when HBO stopped kind of pushing American fighters and went more towards the European fighters. It's like, so y'all just going to take away from y'all core audience and you really thought that that was going to work. So it's just, I mean, I'm not surprised. What was it? First things first got higher ratings than undisputed. So I don't know. I mean, Skip had a career. What he'd been in journalism and, and TV for what? 40 plus years. He'll be all right, you know what I mean? And um, and with Paul Pierce and Michael Irvin and them, they can always go to different platforms. You see, Shannon Sharp got uh, Gilbert Reeves on Club Shay Shay talk about basketball, so don't be surprised if he pulled those, uh, those guys on. Not Club Shay Shay, um, Nightcap. So, I mean, you don't, you, don't, you don't need the corporate man anymore. So I just want to give my quick thoughts about it. What y'all think?